Nice launch check countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine start. Engine start. One. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good evening. I'm Kate Tice, and I'm the Quality Systems Engineering Manager here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for our 59th Starlink mission and SpaceX's 39th launch of 2022. Tonight, our Starlink satellites are lifting. Rocket tanks are pressing for strong back retract. Our Starlink satellites are lifting off from pad 4E in Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. Teams are currently tracking no issues and weather conditions are looking good. The range is also green and ready to support liftoff in just un about four and a half minutes from now. And in preparation for liftoff, uh, as you just heard moments ago, we are preparing for uh, TE retraction. You can see that the clamp arms are now opening there just under the fairings. We began loading propellants about 30 minutes ago. Right now, Falcon 9's first stage and second stage are still loading their liquid oxygen, or LOX. The vehicle is fully loaded with all of its RP-1, or liquid kerosene. And as you can see there, that strong back is retracting. We're expecting the first stage to wrap up its LOX load at T minus three minutes, so just under 30 seconds. Stage one, locks load is complete. As you just heard, the first stage has wrapped up uh, loading of the liquid oxygen. Second stage will finish its locks load in under a minute from now. As I mentioned, the vehicle is already fully loaded with its rocket grade kerosene or RP-1. About 30 seconds until second stage locks load is complete. Stage two, locks load. And with that, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with one million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. This mission marks the seventh flight for the booster that you see on screen, previously having supported Sentinel Michael Freulich DART and four Starlink missions. As a reminder, today's mission is for Starlink, and we will be sending Falcon another- Falcon 9 is in startup. 
We'll be sending another 46 satellites into low Earth orbit. LD is go to launch. T-minus 30 seconds. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off of Starlink 3-4, go Falcon 9. Falcon is fishing down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Falcon is now supersonic. As you just heard, Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there's the call out that Falcon 9 has reached Max Q, the maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle will feel during flight. MVAC engine chill has started. We're under a minute until main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start. We just heard the call out that MVAC chill has begun. The vehicle is flowing a little bit of that super chilled liquid oxygen into the turbo pumps on the second stage engine in preparation for its ignition. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you can see that those fairings have deployed and the grid fins have also just deployed there on the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Today marks the third flight for both of those fairing halves, and we will be attempting to recover them once they fall back to Earth with the help of our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. The western coast of California just coming out of view on the left-hand side of your screen uh, with those city, light, uh, city lights in the background.
As you can see by the telemetry at the bottom of your screen, the first stage is still stage in two is on a nominal trajectory. The first stage is still increasing in altitude just a little bit. Uh, so even though it has already separated from the second stage, it still has a little bit of an upward journey before it reaches its apex or apogee, and at which point in time it will then begin to return to Earth for its landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. As a reminder, today's payload is for SpaceX's satellite internet constellation, Starlink. We can now see from the telemetry at the bottom left-hand side of your screen that that first stage is now making its way back towards Earth. We are about 30 seconds away from entry burn on the first stage. Everything continues to look nominal with the first and second stage. Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one, enter burn startup. As you can see there, stage one has ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. This burn should last about 20 seconds. We have reignited two of the stage radial engines and the center engine, as you just saw there, that has concluded. Falcon 9 is using its onboard computers to guide itself autonomously back to or down to the drone ship, which is parked in the Pacific Ocean, a couple hundred miles off the coast of California. We're less than one minute away from landing burn of the first stage. Stage one transonic. As you just heard, stage one is traveling near the speed of sound. Stage two, FTS has saved. Stage one, lighting burn. There you can see stage one has lit one engine, the center engine, to prepare for landing on our drone ship. Stage we two, can start to see in the background here. Stage one, lighting light deploy. Stage one, lighting is confirmed. All right, and as you can see there, Falcon 9 has landed. This marks SpaceX's 58th first stage landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, and our 39th launch of this year. Expected loss of signal, Cook and Vandenberg. And back shut down. No. 
nominal orbit insertion. And as you just heard there, we had a good second engine cutoff as well as a good orbit. At this point in time, stage two is now carrying 46 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. With that confirmation of SECO-1, we'll wrap up tonight's webcast. Be sure to check SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.